Hey, welcome to Randy's Rules. Randy's Rules are always in effect. Yes, we have another knife review for you today. First, uh, let me mention, um, if you want a chance to win this Leatherman Micra little pocket multi-tool, spread the word, get me up to 100 subscribers. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I will... Um, Give out details on how one of you uh, folks that are joining me uh, and subscribing can uh, win this uh, this handy little tool. So hit that subscribe button, uh, tell your friends, and uh, get me up there to a hundred subscribers and get the ball rolling, and and I'll give that Leatherman away. Also, on the card side, I have a, a card giveaway for those folks. So, when I get to that point, um, I'll pick, basically, we'll get two winners and, and you know, then I'll have a winner for the knife and a winner for the cards. All right, let's get started. We're looking at a P Para Military 2. Uh, some people call it a PM2 um, for short. Is uh, put out by Spider Co. Uh, first, let's give a little bit of the specs. It's uh, overall length is 8.28 inches. Blade length is 3.44. Is a uh, 0.14 blade thickness. And it's clip point flat grind. And the steel is uh, S330 S30 V, uh, which is a which is a good steel. You see it a lot in your, um, what I'd call mid-range knives. It, it's not a, it's not a budget steel, but it's not the highest end steel out there. But, um, you know, it's a, uh, it's a good steel, good hard steel. Keeps an edge really nice. I'm not a steel snob as I've, I've mentioned before. So, um, I think to me it, it's a it's it's a premium steel. A lot of it out there. Benchmade makes a lot of extensive use of it. Uh, Spiderco uses it a lot, so um, it's a tried and true steel. All right, let's talk about something about the knife. Uh, first, uh, this one I had been wanting a paramilitary two. Uh, but just had not decided to spring for one yet. I had already had a Delica. I had a Tenacious. I had a, I picked up a Para 3. And it was kind of like uh, when it came time to buy another knife, it was like, eh, you know, I don't want to spend that much money for a, a knife. I've already got several spider codes and... You know, of course, I wanted one, but it's like, yeah, I kept getting other things. So, uh, I, I had put off getting the PM2. Then one day I'm in a pawn shop just kind of browsing around for anything of interest. Uh, you know, looking at guns and tools and, and knives. Occasionally they'll have knives uh, in the pawn shops around here. I don't know if they just move them so fast or they just don't really get a lot of uh, action on knives, but don't really see a lot of very good knives. You see a lot of the um, worn out CRKTs or uh, some old bokers here and there, or you'll see a lot of the flea market junk, you know, Smith and Wesson knives and things like that. But don't, don't usually see the, good quality knives but they're kind of kind of tucked back in the case i did spot this uh pm2 so i had them hand it to me and looked at it it was uh blade was clean uh felt like it was out of the box sharp did not look like it ever had any uh grind at all so it, it didn't look like it ever been sharpened or touched the the handle was clean the only thing was it had a loose screw 
in the in the clip right here and ultimately i just took it out because of the threads just were a little shallow on that screw and they just wouldn't hold it just wouldn't it wouldn't get tight and hold and it kept on the fall out so i just took it out um the other two screws are are tight the clip stays doesn't move it's tight so i've carried it in my pocket many times and and it's never uh give me any trouble so i haven't i just haven't really worried about it um uh, one of these days i suppose i'll i'll order a a screw for it to put in there uh especially if i ever wanted to sell or trade this knife away i guess i'd do that just because i'm sure i'd scare somebody off being in a pawn shop i did want to check it up closely i looked at i compared the stamping and the uh, make sure it was all spaced correctly and the right font um, and all your other stamps are in the right place and and the Spyderco logo looked correct because there's a few uh, pretty good counterfeits out there so um, I wanted to make sure I was getting a real deal because I was able to will and deal with them and I picked this up for a little less than half of what it would cost brand new out of the box. So with a deal like that, I just couldn't pass it up and I became the proud owner of a paramilitary two. Um, it's got the black G10 scales. I do like the looks of the ones in the blurple, but hey, for, for, a good deal black was fine um, it's got really nice action um, just something so smoothly and then uh, oh, I cut myself and then of course that compression lock holds firm good tight lock up and then it's just so easy to open and close one-handed um, Probably don't carry this one as often as I do the, the pair of three and let's bring it out here for comparison size um, they're about the same top to bottom so they you know you kind of they as far as feel feel like they take up uh, about as much uh, real estate in your pocket um, but that that extra about three quarters of an inch in length I do notice so um, if I'm wearing deeper pocket pants or or something like that I will grab that one uh, otherwise I, I'm most of the time I'm grabbing the, the pair of three when I'm in the spider coat mood now I've got you know my mood changes and I'll carry a knife for a month or two and then start carrying a different one um, which that familiarizes me with all my knives and also uh, when it comes time to talk about them, I, um, kind of have, um, uh, a better idea of what I'm talking about, I guess. Um, action, just like it is on the pair of three or pair of three actions, just like it is on the PM2, which I guess this one came first. I have not, um, this is not really considered the full size i guess you know they get they got the the other one the police military or para, or the military or whatever that it's got a longer blade yet this one probably biggest pocket knife i'd want to carry um it's it's all there i don't have the biggest hands in the world so um it feels like a, a nice uh substantial knife it's got that good finger chill with jumping on it right here in the front to give you a little blade control when you're in doing more detail work got the nice uh, ramp here with the good jumping on it then it's got the jumping right here so pretty much anywhere you grab that you got it you have confidence in the in the grip you have on it and for whatever you're using it for and i don't, haven't used it with wet hands or or wet gloved hands or anything like that 
but I would uh, suspect that it would be very good, especially if you know if you're um, out in the field doing some uh, field dressing. You know, you get some blood on on there. You, you still got a good grip, uh, even with that slick blood on there. Um, one thing I would like would be a, a deep carry clip. I know they make those that you can put on these. Now, compared to the pair of three, it's got the same size lanyard hold. Very huge lanyard hold that you can put rope through there if you want to. Um, but they are able to position the clip up higher next to it rather than below it. So you don't have near as much of the knife protruding from your pocket as you do with the, the pair of three which I do like that part of it. I do like get the rest down deeper in my pocket. And that's why I'll typically um, carry a lanyard, put a lanyard on one when I'm carrying them. It's because I like to reach down. I don't have to fish and make sure I get a good purchase on the handle to pull out. I just grab the lanyard, whip it out. And there we go. Ready for business. Um... This one's got good utilitarian use as far as uh, any daily things you need to use it for. Um, probably a little little much for just opening boxes and cutting tape. But if you're out and about and, and you get in a situation where you need something for defensive use, I think this would be a very effective uh, option for that. And have a little more uh, intimidation factor. Um, I walk around downtown a lot here where I work. Um, and there's some sketchy looking folks. Just like all downtowns. And, uh, you know, they can get, tend to get a little aggressive. And, and they're asking for things. Um, I typically don't even have to reach down and put my hand on the knife I don't get too scared uh, I'm a big enough guy that uh, you know they most people I think want to probably try to avoid a physical confrontation but uh, but if I do need a little equalizer and somebody's being a little too aggressive I think this would be a nice uh, equalizer to pull out and hopefully just make them decide that they don't want to bother you no more wouldn't want to have to actually use it on anybody um what else well like all spider codes uh, i did not at first like the looks of them um I shied away from them for a long time because that just non-conventional giant spider spider hole they have. But once you sit down and you've just sat and watching a good ball game or a good war movie or something like that, and you just get you to fidget fidgety fingers and you grab your spider coat and you just sit there and just flick it all day long. And I've come to love the, the spider hole and how easy it makes to operate the knife. You can pretty much, whatever your favorite method of opening a knife, you know, it works um, from the impressive flick to just the little easy open one finger, one handed out and the working got one hand tied up with something and the other one need to cut something easy to take out open cut put it back in the pocket without any problem as you do see it it's a uh, totally open back so it does collect uh, pocket debris but uh, looks like I need to get the canned air after this one have I not 
given it any uh, attention lately. But blade's good and centered, good and tight. It's a good knife for a pawn shop find. Um, you know, I don't think I'd like one new out of the box any better. Well, that's all I got. Uh, give me comments. Uh, what you think about the the paramilitary two? What's your favorite knives? Uh, what knives you'd like to see me look at? Uh, after I work through my personal collection, I will start buying more knives. I'll keep my eye on open for what's new and, and exciting. And, and you guys tell me what you'd like to see reviewed. I know everybody's reviewing knives out there, uh, so I'm not promising any great insight or anything like that. You're just going to get a, the view of uh, somebody that loves knives, carries knives, and and um, I'll give you an honest uh, opinion of what I think of it in a daily use, uh, not just uh, something I'm going to throw on the table, review, and and compare it and and then not ever ever use it i'm not you know any knife i get it will get used in the way i will use a knife on an everyday basis okay well be sure and hit that like and subscribe button uh keep watching uh when i and keep tabs on my sub levels because once i get to 100 subs i will do the first giveaway and then there'll be giveaways all along the way as i hit different milestones uh and of course as uh milestones get higher uh giveaways will get better all right that's all i got see you guys next time